Hello guys, welcome to the channel The Immense Lunch Hacker. Today I'm going to show you how to escalate privilege in Linux system using LXT. So LXT is uh, Ubuntu's container manager, it's just like Docker for other Linux distros. So LXT groups, uh, so it cons considers harmful in the same way like we consider Docker group. So under no circumstances, any local user should be given uh, access to LXT group. So to kind of so to check if your box or if your system is kind of vulnerable to privilege escalation using LXT, okay, you need to first check hcpsswd file. Okay, as you can see here that LXT is installed in the box, so there is a user LXT also. Okay, now let's again check HC group. So in HC group, you can see that this user nameless one is part of LXC group you can just type id with current user also it will show that the id of this current user is 108 it means it belongs to LXC group so what happens is when you install LXC and you are in a sudo a sudo group then upon installation LXC automatically adds every user to that LXC group so if you are a sudo user and you have installed LXT in that box or in Ubuntu, LXT automatically adds all the users in the LXT group. So installing LXT is just like adding current user to sudo group or sudo's file and you will have each and every privilege as root user. So now let me show you how to escalate privilege using LXT group, okay. So first of all you need to kind of go to your current system or uh, go to your Kali Linux so this is my system so this is my install Kali Linux so there are kind of multiple ways to exploit privilege or escalate privilege using LXT but I'm going to show you the most easiest way and, and the way that works on most of the system or most of the Linux system so first of all you'll need to download the LXC Alpine Builder. So what are we going to do is we are going to um, just make a new LXC image and we are going to uh, and we are going to import that image into a vulnerable box so, and just enable higher privilege or administrative privilege in that uh, LXC container or LXC image that we create. Okay. So first download LXC Alpine Builder. So I'll just drop the link, I'll get up link in the description below, so you can just get it from there. Just go to Google and search for LXC Alpine Builder. So here is it, here it is. Suggle LXC Alpine Builder. Okay, let's click on it. Let's copy this GitHub link. And go to your Kali, just type git clone and the I, uh, address that you copied. Okay, now I downloaded the Alpine below. Let's get inside the folder. Now, next you just have to do is just type sudo or rather than just change to root user first, just type sudo su and your password. So now I'm a root user. As you can see, I am a root user. Now just run this script build dash alpine dot slash and build alpine. Just run it. If, if it worked the first time, you just have to do a couple of time. Just download some file and make a compressed zip file. Okay. Now let me exit from root user. As you can see here, that it creates a, a gun zip tarball file alpine version 3.12 something like that okay now so now what are we going to do is we're going to transport this alpine file or this tarball from our Kali Linux to vulnerable box so i'm going to use now python http server to do that okay let me just initialize the python http server first to do that just to the python tree and import module http dot server and give a port number let me give it a thousand. Okay. 
now let's copy this file name okay now python server has started okay in the vulnerable box uh, just use the get to download that file Okay, let me first check my IP. Yes, uh, 10986 to 27. Okay, double get HTTP 10986 to 27. The port number was 8000 and the file name Alpine V3. And Give the name. Okay, let's download it. Okay, now I started downloading. Let me zoom it. Okay, so here is the um, tarball file, uh, Alpine image. Okay, let me clear the screen first. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to import this Alpine image that we created in this box. So to import the image, type the command to LXC. image import so give the image name let's use any alias okay i'm going to use alias dc hacker okay let it run okay now i started importing this alexi uh, lxd image file okay so if this is your first time on lxd on this box you should also run LXG in it to start your first container. Okay, so LXG service is kind of not running. So to do that, just to start LXG service, just type LXG in it. Okay. Just set everything default. Just leave everything default and just keep on hitting enter. Okay, so, so I have successfully initialized LX3. Okay, now let's check image. So to check the imported image, just type, well, let me clear it first. Just type LXC image. Okay, yes, LXC image list. Okay, so here is the image that we just imported. We name it Daisy Hacker. So in next step, we are going to create a container and we are going to just provide higher privilege or administrative privilege to it okay so to do that just type lxc in it okay let me just name the container name okay first of you need to give the image name it's ac hacker in the container name let me just name it hmm. subscribe okay then give command dash c and to just say uh, Enable privileges, just type security. Security dot privilege. Security dot privilege equals to true. So it will enable privileges in this container. I think it's the correct command. Okay, let's hit enter. Okay, now it started. I created the container. Subscribe. So if this step didn't work for you, you need to just Again, run the command lx in it. Okay, now let's try to configure our container. To do that, just type lx config device, then add the container name is subscribe. Subscribe. And then email name. The email name is dc hacker. Okay, then give the dig source. This this path or source where we are mounting the dig, so we are kind of mounting root directory to this path. So that's MNT root. So we are kind of mounting this Alexi container uh, root directory to this folder slash MNT slash root. Okay, so we need to be recursive to mount each and every file. So must enable recursive R E C U R. Uh, recursive cost you true. 
getting this the correct syntax let's hit enter so you can see here the device the easy hacker edit to subscribe so kind of um configured and configure our container also okay now let's start that container to do that just type lxc start and the container is just created is subscribe s u b s c i b u k okay now the container subscribe started well, the next command is the important one it is just execute system command so just type lxc exec the container name and the command you want to run so we are i'm going to run cell command just type bin sh so this will probably spawn a root cell okay let's hit enter okay we are kind of now a root user as you can see here that we su successfully escalated the privilege and we kind of are a root user so this is how we can use LXD containers to escalate privilege in Linux system. You are mainly Ubuntu is Ubuntu. And this LXD is for Ubuntu. So this must in this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.